asking for a harp for my birthday. I don't ever remember hearing one or seeing one. And luckily, my parents knew that I liked music enough because I'd already played piano for four years, but they got me this harp for my birthday. Wow, it's beautiful. That's a nice present. It sure is, and I still have it. Wow. So I'm pretty sure that that enormous instrument next to you is your professional harp. Is that right? This is. This is the one I take to play at the symphony. Oh, so you need a much bigger harp to play in the symphony, huh? You do. Wow. How much does it weigh? This one is approximately 85 pounds. 85 pounds? Wow, you must be really strong. I'm working on it. <laughs> you don't have a bow, so how do you play the strings on a harp? The other stringed instruments have pizzicato, which you might have learned about. It's very similar to how a harp plays by plucking with our fingers. And the harp has very, very low sounds and very high sounds. And then it's got everything in between, too. Cool! So the longer the string, the lower the note. The shorter the string, the higher the note. And on the harp, they go from big to small so you can see how it works. Exactly, Vincent. There sure are a lot of strings. How many strings does a harp have? And how do you know which ones to play? That's a good question. And the answer depends on which kind of harp you have. My harp is a beginner's harp. It has 12 strings. The harp I started on has 34 strings, but this harp is called a concert brand harp and it has 47 strings. And you can probably see the different colors on the strings too, and that's what guides you onto what string you're playing. So all the red ones, starting with the very lowest string on the harp, those are all C. Then there are black strings that are the Fs. And then in between, you've got A, B, D, E, and G. Wow, that's a lot to keep track of, but it's color-coded, so that must help. It is. It's plain by color. Bethany, what are the pedals for? Can you put wheels on the harp and drive it around so it's easier to move? Well, some harp makers have put wheels on the bottom of harps to make them easier to move. But that's not what the pedals do. The pedals lengthen and shorten the string to make the pitch higher or lower. So you can watch my foot move and you can hear the string change tone. So when you change the pedals, you're playing notes between the notes of each string? Right. So we talked about A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. There are also things that we call sharps and flats. So, when I started, I was in D flat, and then I moved it up to D. And then it can go another slot down, and it becomes D sharp. And there's seven pedals, so one for each of those notes. Bethany, what's that really cool thing that hard players do that sounds like you're in heaven? That is called glissando. So here is how a glissando sounds. But there are more ways to do glissandos. You can go up and down in all sorts of ways. You can also use 
both of your hands at the same time. Or use one hand to do two notes at the same time. And sometimes even we use our fingernails to kind of sweep the strings in the glissando. Wow, are you an angel? Yes. Where are your angel wings, Todd? Gobble! Gobble! Bethany, will you please play something for us? Sure. Because it makes beautiful furniture, even if you don't know how to play. 